All right. I got a darker background so you guys can really um, see what I'm looking at. Okay. So these triangle shaped facets, uh, they're called star facets. So I'm in between here and the girdle facet. All right. So this is face up right here. That's face up. Uh, you can't really detect much. I, I can see a pavilion main uh, given a little double doubling. Um, but the best way to really check for this is um, the stones tilt about about a 45 degree angle here. I'm just peering through these bezel facets here. OK. Um, I really see it right now. So there's a prong to the left of the prong. You see that pavilion main. It looks like a kite. It's uh, doubling. Okay. See both sides. It looks kind of blurry. Okay. So when you see that, that right there is a clear, definitive indication that you do not have a singly refractive gem. Okay. Now, I'm going to be getting some uh, zircon, natural zircon, and you can you can face up see the birefringence, the double refraction. Um, here we see that upper girdle facet. See that doubling? Okay. I'm going to try to zoom up just a bit here and see if I can really make this pop. Okay, so we're in better clarity here, and we're under 4K, so you guys can see that. Um, again, you see that doubling? Okay, right there, boom, you can see many double facet lines right there. It's called rail tracks. You can even see it right there. Okay, again... See that? Boom. That's clear. You guys see it? It's, looks like the kite, kite shaped facet here. See that? The girdle facet. It's clear. Boom. Rail tracks. Okay. Well, let's see if I can show you what a polished girdle looks like. Okay, see, it's just smooth. Right? Most, most diamonds. Of this size, this six and a half millimeter uh, round brilliant. Uh, the, the girdles are faceted. Okay, that's another indicator. Um, and then looking at this view, I'm, I'm looking at girdle, and I'm seeing those pavilion mains. Boom, double right there. Boom, see it? Okay. Look at nine o'clock. Um, double. So you really can see that. Right. So. <clears throat> this is uh, it's how it's done right here, and, and and this should take you know a few seconds, right? I'm 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 usually um, going a little bit overboard, but I'm, I'm trying to get you, the viewers, to understand what it is that you are looking at, okay? Because most uh, um, individuals they they've never really you know done this before they've never they've never looked underneath a, a magnification and for those uh wondering you know what i'm using for magnification i'm using a 10 times coddington dark field okay and i just put it up to my uh iphone camera lens okay very low tech and uh i, I then en enabled the uh, 4k feature to really get you know high clarity details so you guys you can see at this angle we can really see that doubling of the facet junctions okay and i'm going to try to get an out of focus view here you guys can see that spectra see that right there see me showing this uh, when we uh, practice visual optics, this is what we need to 
memorize. And it just looks like a bunch of colors here. But this is uh, the spectra of silicon carbide. Okay. It's really uh, beautiful when we capture that. So it, this is out of focus, but just pay attention to these coloring. See, this is uh, pretty important to make note. So I think this concludes this video. You guys can really see how sharp these star facets are. And they are aligned. Um, the crown angle is very flat. Now, the reason why these cutters do that is to hide, you know, that birefringence, right? So these these crown angles, you know, the the table. See, this is the crown, and and they're cut very flat on purpose. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day.